And we're back here on Inside India, and we want to talk about healing hurts. And uh, we have a group of people in the studio with us. We have a, a, a collection of people <laughs> here to talk about how to heal those hurts, whether you're going through something or the hurts in our community. And they are Jane Slayton, who is Pastoral Care and Outreach Director for Our Lady of Mount Carmel, right? Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, to my right, Rick Doyle. Uh, Stephen Ministry Leader, uh, which is the Stephen Ministry. We'll talk about that and explain to you what that is all about. Uh, we have Laura Cole. Hi, Laura. Hi, Kelly. Uh, she is with the Stephen Ministry. She's the leader there for Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And then Jim Kolstad, who's also a Stephen Ministry leader. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Glad to be here. So, Jane, begin by telling us what the Stephen Ministry is. It is exactly what you just said. It's a healing ministry. Mm. Uh, Stephen ministry is a listening ministry. It's one-to-one, -one, a woman with a woman or a man with a man. Mm -hmm. And basically you come with some kind of loss, whether it's a loss of a marriage or loss of a spouse and through death or loss of a job or maybe mm. your last children just left the nest. Mm. You know, it's basically mainly loss of some kind. And they uh, get together with this minister, and the minister listens. The Stephen minister listens to them. And it's probably the one moment in your life where somebody will truly listen to you and glean everything they can and learn from you, mm -hmm. but not try and fix you. Mm. They'll let God fix you. So one of, the, one of the little slogans is that Stephen ministers are... Or what, tell me, tell me, Rick. Rick Rick's the one that remembers this. We, we are not the cure. Right. We are the caregiver, but not the caregiver. Not the caregiver. Mm. God's the caregiver, and we are the mm. caregiver. Okay. There's one point I would like to mention, Kelly. To mm -hmm. that is, we're also considered like the after people. You know, mm -hmm. after you know, some you go through the funeral, or after you have had your family there to support you, or whatever, and then, you know, everybody goes on and does their life, and here you are still by yourself and you just you need someone to just be with and someone to listen to you hmm. and you keep bringing up that word um and, and listen listen and, and i want to ask jim this how do you listen without trying to fix someone because it's very tempting <laughs> to do right yes it is i think especially for us guys because uh, we always want to get to the end <sighs> fix something um mm -hmm. for and I haven't found it extremely difficult, but at times you have to just bite your lip. But listening, the more you listen, the more they share about themselves mm -hmm. from their heart. And over time, they start seeing themselves in a different light. And if there's issues that they need help, that we can find resources to help them in those issues. And it, sometimes it may be a couple months. In some cases, we've had care receivers where it's a couple years. Wow. So mm -hmm. it, you can't be in a hurry. You have, you know, the saying I like to use that's hard for me to do is let go, let God, and let mm -hmm. God do the healing. You just are there as part of their, uh, to help them and mm -hmm. just to listen to them. And it's amazing, uh, after several sessions, uh, you become closer and they trust you more and they will share things with you that they may have never shared with people before. Mm. And just hearing themselves talk about, it, I think is part of the healing process. Mm -hmm. yeah, if I could add, um, you know, when, we, when we're young, mm -hmm. we are expert listeners. We learn how to talk and we watch people and we listen to how they use words. And we focus so much of our early development in terms of listening. But as we get older and as we get into high school, we learn to tune people out. Mm. And, and we no longer are, are experts at listening. And it takes a while for a Stephen minister to really retrain themselves in listening skills because the focus is not so much on what am I going to say next, it's so much on what the person you're listening to is saying. Mm. So, and what does that training entail? Like, uh, and how long does it take to be trained to be a, a Stephen leader? It's, well, Stephen minister, minister. Mm -hmm. a minister, it takes 50 hours of training. And they learn things like confidentiality is a huge, huge mm -hmm. thing for us. Mm -hmm. Listening skills, as Rick had just mentioned. 
feelings, understanding feelings, which is sometimes where we lose the men. It's interesting mm. um, because it's a difficult thing. Whoa, we're going to talk about feelings? Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about feelings. <laughs> like, yes, we we're are. We're going to talk about not leading our lives by our feelings, mm. but feeling them and you know appreciating them and letting them go. Um, but we're going to talk about boundaries, mm-hmm. about assertiveness. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, not being a doormat, not being somebody that you know knocks somebody over with their opinion, mm-hmm. but just assertiveness. Um, one thing that's very important, it goes with what Jim said, is we learn about process care versus mm-hmm. result-oriented care. And that is, staying process-oriented is what we're all about. So we're not looking for result. We're not going to make a T-scale and say, mm-hmm. what are the pros and cons of staying with your husband? We're not going to do that. We're going mm-hmm. to just listen and let people work it out. And it's tried and it's proven. And it's actually a genius ministry, this Stephen mm. Ministry. We have a lot of ministries at Our Lady Mount Carmel. Stephen Ministry is just genius. It was written by a Lutheran pastor. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's also a psychologist, Kenneth Houck, who lives, it's out of St. Louis. Mm-hmm. And so this is a non-denominational ministry um, that's brought into a lot of different churches. And it's so beautiful. Mm. Some of the other, mention some of the other classes, Laura. Well, uh, well one of the things I was also going to mention about that, it's, you know, we're not there to tell anybody what to do. We're not counselors. Um, but it's amazing that how the Holy Spirit works in the relationship because mm-hmm. you can be listening to all of this and then they're figuring themselves out while they're talking. But you can say one kind, encouraging word to somebody or a statement and it's not really your own words it's the holy spirit speaking Mm -hmm. through you Mm -hmm. you're like the vessel Mm -hmm. for the holy spirit Mm -hmm. and you'll leave and you'll just feel so blessed yourself that you had the opportunity to be in someone else's life and for someone to trust you enough to share their lives and their hurts with you Mm -hmm. but you're blessed as well being the minister because you can feel god working in the relationship Mm -hmm. and that's that's the beautiful thing about Stephen Ministry. Oh, that's powerful. It almost sounds like, though, it would be a good uh, course workshop to take just for anybody to become a better listener because we all come into uh, situations where we are playing the role that you play with people who come to you. Mm-hmm. So whether it's a friend or a family member who's going through something, and it just sounds like it would be a good idea just for anybody to do this, right? You got it. It's it, good. It's good mm-hmm. for parenting. It's yeah. great for marriages. It's great. It's great oh, yeah. for every yeah. relationship that you're in. It does. It makes mm-hmm. us healthier mm-hmm. to be a good listener. So, how does someone um, step into the role that you play now? How do you become a Stephen Ministry leader? Oh, that's a good. That's a good point, and it's a serious <laughs> issue. Actually, mm-hmm. we just talked about that. That we need to pray for our next leader and, and mm-hmm. who that might be. A leader. What the leader does is we have supervisory groups where these all the ministers meet Mm -hmm. and we talk about what we're doing in the relationship so you know we don't play god in people's lives and we stay on the right path Mm -hmm. and we don't start fixing people and things like that Um, so the person that's a leader would be a person that would facilitate that group and Mm -hmm. to and for that steve minister to come to one-on-one to talk about their feelings and what Mm -hmm. you know what they're going through um, to um, lean on, to come up with continuing education. So we continually build on our knowledge mm-hmm. about different injuries that happen and how our mind works and how we wrap ourselves around that and about our religion and how religion you know, plays mm-hmm. a role in the healing of a person. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? What happens? Why do why do bad things happen to good people? That's mm-hmm. that's a question we get all the time. That's a really hard thing to answer. So mm-hmm. working on forgiveness and patience and all of these things, we have to come up with all of those. We have to come up with speakers, or we have to read books, wow. and we have to we have to do write write workshops and things. Wow. Or we'll hold a retreat. Or um, the other thing we do obviously is um, we hold this workshop mm-hmm. that we're yeah. that we're heading toward. Um, but and the training, we train all the ministers, and we all take turns. Okay. So we're we're a very even labored uh, group. We okay. we all take turns training these different things, and whatever we're good at is what we teach. Okay. And I think so, it's a calling. I mean, it's really a calling mm-hmm. if you want to become a Stephen minister or a leader. Okay. Mm-hmm. So how can people get involved? And they're they're going like this to me. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, we're going to let Jim talk about the workshop well, that we're planning because he's leading. We're the fortunate that uh, uh, Stephen Ministry in St. Louis asked us to put on a workshop for them, and uh, they do this throughout the country. Mm-hmm. 
and the workshop is open to any church or individual that would like to learn more about it. And it'll explain, it starts off uh, through three sessions, starts off with talking about grief, mm -hmm. kind of sets the tone of the people that are hurting, and then it gets into the Stephen Minister series. Okay. that kind of explains how the Steve ministry process works to help people that are in need. And okay. then it ends it up with um, oh, um, to care distinctively Christian caring because it is a Christian caring process okay. that awesome. we go through. Okay. So we're advertising, we're here talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be held at Our Lady of Mount Carmel on uh, the 7th of May. Okay. If people are interested, they can get online, look at Stephen ministry, and there's a process you can go through to register or they can call our parish, um, and we've got people that can answer those questions. Okay, so go to stephenministry.org yep. slash workshops if you yep. want to know more. Yep. So Jane, Rick, uh, Laura, and Jim, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, you for having us. On Inside Indy, and thank you for joining us. I'm Kelly Vaughn. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.